Omar Jordan, RIT Safety Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about self-rescue. Self-rescue being uh, self-rescue from heights, whether you have a harness or whether you do not have a harness. This particular system utilized right now we designed for workers without harnesses. This comes pre-packaged in a, um, a shoulder bag which is easy to carry and easy to store. Simply unzip the top of the storage bag and the Easy Don harness comes out in the proper orientation uh, to put the harness on. This particular harness goes on like a vest. There's three connections. There's a leg that come, a strap that comes up between your legs and two chest straps. The three loops get connected with a tri-link. There's adjustments on this harness uh, to properly fit one between the legs, one on each shoulder. This makes it a one size fits most harness. Once you have the harness adjusted, reach into the bag for the egress system. This system is pre-rigged and can be used for self-rescue as well as assisted rescue. We recommend that you clip the egress bag onto your harness and not drop the bag over to the ground just to prevent any type of entanglement of your descent line. This way your escape line is always with you and you shouldn't have any issues with wind blowing into power lines or debris or obstructions. Coming over the rail you want to verify that all your attachment points are secure and correct. At that point you're going to simply lean back, you're going to pull the uh, webbing, the break end of it out with your right hand and extend your right hand and you're going to squeeze the lever. Now obviously the blue rope there, as in all our videos, that is our safety rope. Please be sure to make sure you always utilize a safety uh, system when utilizing our products for demonstration or training. You notice as he's extending his right arm, he's going to be able to increase his speed if you lower your arm and decrease your speed as you raise your arm. If you let go of the device, it being an auto lock device, you will stop. We utilize a 7 16 tubular Kevlar webbing uh, that allows us to get a 300 foot system to weigh 8 pounds while maintaining an 18.5 kilonewton rating. You can tell he's coming down at whatever rate of speed that he wants. You can go fast or slow. It is very, very controlled. As he's getting towards the ground, all he has to do is raise his right arm up a little bit and that will decrease his speed. And then he gets down to the ground very smoothly. Whether you're utilizing an RIT safety solution harness or another competitor's, our egress systems can integrate directly onto your existing harness. Notice the individual coming down 300 foot cell tower uh, with a different type of harness with our egress system. The only requirements that are needed is a frontal midpoint attachment point and it be an ANSI or an NFPA certified harness. Any questions please give us a call. Thank you.